Hey, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Blank Page Podcast. Um, I'm looking forward to taking a ride with you guys to dig into the topic for today, which I believe is going to be great because you're going to craft your year of opportunities for 2024. But I'm going to help you by doing that by creating this roadmap, your success roadmap. Um, Thank you for those who have liked the show and subscribed to the show. Um, Any of you can do that. If you're listening right now, please encourage people to go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you hang out to get your podcast goodness. Um, I've gotten messages that have just been very encouraging, um, and I'll share one with you in a little bit as it relates to today's topic. Um, and also, if you want to engage on Instagram with me, please do so at Tim Pecoraro. Um, I'm going to be posting more there and some other places in the future. Anyway, last week, what we did was we focused on reflecting and resetting. That's the foundation for success, right? So we're going to be moving into today trying to help you create a roadmap for success. But first, we laid the foundation of success. We discussed the importance of combining planning and action through the story I told of Mia and Leo, right? And then the ambition. Whoa, that's a big one. The ambition part with both the planning and purposeful action, it's to to be the key. It's central for, for planning and purposeful action. You need ambition. The benefits include courage, persistence, and adaptability. And then I give you reflection exercises that guide aligning your decisions with goals for lasting success. And then we crafted and we work, or actually we worked on the idea of crafting personal narratives and valuing connections. Um, and that's what's emphasized for growth and leveraging your strengths. So go back and take a listen if you can. Episode two, um, reflecting and resetting. But today, man, I'm so excited about this theme because it's where I'm always at. I'm always saying, whatever I learn, what can I do to use it for forward thinking and forward moving? What can I do to make something better? What can I do to help improve the value of something, to elevate something, to make it to where um, uh, um, it's performing at its highest level? Um, uh, And also, hey, I encourage you, if you're on Instagram and you see anything that I'm doing and you post, or if you just do it in general, when you're doing a personal growth move or you're making changes in your life, do me a favor. Would you just put hashtag better at being human? I want people to just get fired up about that. As a matter of fact, what I would like for you to do, if there's something that you're working on, go ahead and DM me on Instagram um, or tag me in your post on Instagram or in a story and just say, this is me being better, uh, um, better at being human. Hashtag better at being human. This is what I'm doing to be better at being human, if that's what you want to add. But just try to, however you can do it, tag me with it, whatever comes natural to you, say it your way. But hey, let's get some conversation going around that. So we focus on that. Focus on the person being better as a human being. So this episode, we're going to talk about, we talked about the ambitious future, but we got to get into the dream. What does it look like? You got to define things. We're going to roll up our sleeves and we're going to get into this thing. No, we're not going to, we're going to put out into the trash all the wishful thinking and hope as a strategy doesn't work. It's not going to work, right? But instead we're going to scribble out our blueprint. And we're going to take the things that we see or the visions that we have, things we would like to do, and we want to put them into real uh, um, uh, accomplishments, things that we're willing to just go all in for, okay? So we're aiming not just to dream, but what we want to do is really put in the work strategically for an amazing, successful, and fulfilling 2024. All right, so let's get into this. Creating a success roadmap for your life, right? Well, what does it matter? Let me tell you what it matters. It can yield numerous benefits, provide a structured framework for you to achieve your goals and your aspirations. Because, you know what, better yet, let me just go ahead and get into the five key advantages, all right? Here are the key advantages that if you were to do this work, if you focus on this, you're going to find yourself walking away with these five things by the end of next year. So clarity and direction is the first one. When you develop a success roadmap, it's going to offer clarity by defining your objectives, priorities, and the steps needed to accomplish them. It provides a clear direction, helping you to focus your energy and resources towards specific goals rather than feeling lost or uncertain about your path in life. That's a pretty big deal to me. The second one is it going to help you with goal alignment and focus. 
A roadmap helps align your goals with your values, passions, and long-term vision. It enables you to prioritize your objectives, um, the, the things that truly matter. Let's just put it that way. It's going to ensure that your efforts are focused on pursuits that resonate with your core beliefs and aspirations. And I'm going to tell you right now, when I look and when I see the actions of people, then what you should look is say, if they're doing this, then that means this is their belief system, right? So you you want to make sure that the things that you're doing, that you know it's supposed to come from your belief system. Therefore, whatever you do should resonate with that core, meaning they are drawn, they resonate, they vibrate at the same frequent, they, frequency, they're congruent, they fit, they're aligned, however you want to term it. Okay. The third thing is progress tracking and accountability. Both of those can be, <laughs> I mean, everyone tracks it with fitness and some, it's not a problem with, with those things, especially when you see progress, progress tracking is not a big deal. When you see progress, accountability is not a big deal, but when it's not there, it's hard, right? And sometimes we don't know what we're tracking and what we need accountability for. But when you have a roadmap, okay, it allows you to track your progress Ready? Systematically. It helps you to set milestones, monitor your achievements, and hold yourself accountable for your actions. Now, let me let me slide over here to the side, a little sidebar with you for a second. Do not make yourself your only accountability partner because you will be your worst accountability partner ever. Okay, you can tell yourself anything. All right. So what you want to do, I mean, as I say, I'm not saying you're not being honest with yourself, but trust me, if we're going to, I mean, we are usually tricking ourselves on the daily. All right. So what you want to do is make sure that whatever you say and you're holding yourself accountable for, then take that and give to someone else and say, Hey, listen, is this really me holding myself accountable? And then get, have them give you input and feedback to that. No. So maybe instead of what they're doing is they're going to call you on what you say you want to do. That is the accountability part of it. But make Make sure you do it with someone you know, like, and trust, right? And someone that can add value to your life. So make sure you're not just wasting it on anyone because everyone is not supposed to come along with you in your life. Number four, enhanced decision-making. A success roadmap serves as a guide when making decisions. It's going to provide a framework for evaluating your choices, Ensuring that your actions align, that thing that we talked about. It's, do you feel this resonant thing? If it resonates with your core beliefs, guess what? You will align. It's going to align with not only your long-term objectives, but your short-term and everything in the middle. This helps in avoiding distractions and making informed decisions that support your overarching goals. Okay? Number five, adaptability and resilience. This one's great. Life is filled with so many uncertainties. We know that, right? Certainty is one of the core human needs, our need for certainty. So life is going to be full of uncertainties and unexpected challenges. But when you have a well-defined roadmap, it's going to equip you with the flexibility to adapt to changes and navigate obstacles. It's, it's going to foster resilience by allowing you to adjust strategies or goals when they're needed without losing sight of your ultimate destination. I mean, to me, that is a win right there. That is a key ingredient into everything that you do. You want that adaptability and resilience because you will have to try and try again. And not only just try, but you're going to try and you're going to do and you're going to do again. So in essence, crafting a success roadmap empowers you to live with purpose, stay focused on what truly matters, and navigate life's complexities with clarity, adaptability, and a sense of purpose. Let me say that again. Basically, when you make this roadmap, you're empowered. And you're going to be able to live with purpose on purpose. You'll be focused. You're going to focus on what matters. You're going to navigate whatever difficult things comes your way, anything that happens, right? Things will happen to you and then you'll turn them into happening for you because you have clarity, adaptability, and a sense of purpose. And what is that secret sauce again, guys? To do that, I'm going to remind you of that ambitious future. Last episode last week, ambition. Why is it the secret sauce before we go any further? Because it's not just a word. It doesn't just sound fancy. It's not something like, ooh, ambition. No, this is like the fuel that keeps you moving. It's about having this, the guts, 
This is ambition. It's the guts and the courage to keep going so that you can be not just persistent, but consistent, adaptable, and never shying away from learning something new. Man, that's good. So when you're crafting your 2024, I want you to be able to imagine your victory. When you're crafting your 2024, I want you to be able to like set goals like an owner. And what I mean by that, an owner is owning yourself, the responsibility, owning your thoughts, owning your feelings, owning your decisions, owning your actions, and therefore owning your outcomes. That is an owner's mind. And I learned that from a guy named Chris Brogan, the owner's mind. And so that is what you've got to have in order to do this. Own it. You want to, you want to plan like a pro. So you imagine your victory, you set your goals, and now you plan like this pro. Like now, because you're the expert in your world. And so what that means is you scribble down a clear game plan on how, how, how to make each thing happen. That's your job. Think about your resources and the challenges and the backup plans. Like get together with it and do something with it. Plan like a pro. Why? Because you have an owner's mind. Why? Because you can imagine what success looks like in victory. However you want to term it in the future, you can see it. Now say it, write it down and do it. Taking the action. That's number four. Action, action, action. Think about this. The fourth thing I want you to see in crafting this is, is you got to move. It's time. It's not tomorrow. It's not January 1. Start now. Even if it's you're thinking, then start writing. Whatever it is, start taking steps regularly towards the goals that you want, even if they're small, because progress is progress. Okay? Incremental little things mean the most. Moving the decimal point 10%. If you get into compounding interest and tenths, wow, what could you do with that? And then learn, adapt, and conquer, right? You want to do this thing. Review your plan. Celebrate when you win. Learn from when you make mistakes or you fail. Learn from it. And then adjust it. Make the adjustments accordingly. Okay? That's it. This is what I want you to kind of see. And now that I said it, I want you to move into crafting it. I want you to unleash the power of your own purposeful action. I want you to, once again, on purpose, intentionally take action. It's not just about being busy. It's about throwing your energy into the stuff that actually will move you closer to the thing that you say is your ambitious future. It's about mixing the planning with real purposeful steps. So here we go. This is how we're going to do it. I'd like you to take the time, sit down, get a journal, get a notebook, blank pages, right? Once you do, nothing listens better than a blank piece of paper. This is the time to craft it. What does this look like? If you were to create the roadmap for 2024 success and this was your route, this is what you will need to to start with, okay? Here we go. Number one, I want you to dream ridiculously big, ambitious future. Sketch out that scenario. What win or wins do you see? W-I-N-S. What do you see? And as it relates to a job, love, adventure, I don't know. Let it all out. Every bit of it. The second thing, what are the goals in order for you to win or succeed? You got to break those things down into like the, the whatever it is, the big picture has to be broken down into clear bite-sized things. You got to make them simple, practical right? They need to be exciting, right? And then you want to always be the person who game plans over and over. So first you, you want to get that big dream, big dream, ambitious future. Number two, you want to know what the goals are to win and succeed. Number three, game plan. That's the thing. How are you going to reach this goal? You're going to map it out step by step, right? What if it goes sideways? You got to plan for that too. Game plan over and over and over again. And then Number four, you want to be the person that is all about getting better at being consistent. Better at being consistent. So you want to commit to taking regular action steps. Tiny progress is still progress, right? Remember that. And then it's to learn as you go. You want to review, adapt, and keep going. You want to celebrate each victory. You want to learn from your slip-ups, and you want to keep on moving. 
Remember that. Learn as you go. You get to be adaptable. Review, adapt, keep moving. Celebrate each victory. Learn. So I want you to just keep in mind, it's not about a destination, friends. It's this incredible, wonderful, and sometimes even wild ride that I believe that each of us find ourselves on in any moment of our lives. We want to embrace this journey. We want to adapt like a champ. We want to be able to just, I mean, soak up every lesson along the way because there's so many good things for us to learn. And so as you work on this, would you post it? Would you be a person that gets on your Instagram? Please tag me and post what that big dream looks like, goals for your win, how do you game plan, game plan? If you just show how you're going to be better at being consistent and learn as you go, you can share all of them, maybe one of them. It doesn't matter. And if you don't want to post it, send it to me in a DM so we can engage around this. Man, I am on your side and I want you to rock out your roadmap. I want you to be able to do the things that you feel you were built and designed to do. And if not, I want you to discover those things. And I believe in you. And I want you to not let me believe in you more than you believe in yourself. But if I can help your belief, or even where you don't believe, I want to encourage you to do it. I want to inspirationally speak to your aspirations. So just remember, nothing will listen better than a blank piece of paper. And I encourage you to sit down, do the work, and be sure that you know that this is your opportunity right now, not later. It is now, this day, this week, however, this hour, however you view it, that you start crafting what opportunity looks like for you. But most importantly, that it's going to help you create the framework or the roadmap for your success in 2024. So until next week, I wish you a very happy new year. And I believe in you. And I believe this is your year to do amazing things. That ambitious future is much closer than you think when you have the determination and you do the hard work. You're persistent and consistent. It's all yours. You got to define it and you will have it. So I look forward to hearing about your success roadmap. Until next week.